So, uh, welcome back to the Deep Ones podcast, and uh, today, uh, as always, I'm joined by Mr. Turtle. That that was very delayed. Thank you. Okay, uh, and this time I'm also joined by a special guest, uh, Septile Crash. Uh, Septile Crash. It's not. It's not Raguzer. You're not Raguzer. Sh- sh- sit, fucking child. Uh, hey guys, it's uh, Raguzer here. Welcome back to the Deep Ones Deep Woken podcast. Yeah, so we. Uh... So we are joined uh, in today's episode by Skep uh, because we wanted him to talk about his theory of how to gain um, magic in Deep Woken. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, hi. So, uh, mind, mind telling us what it is. Alright, uh, so I've actually kind of, I've kind of had this theory for like a while, uh, but I, I never really like, I wouldn't say confirmed it, but like sort of like solidified it until now. It's it's kind of like a basic theory. Anyone could really come up with it, but uh, I came up with it first. All right, so uh, let's. Uh, it's about uh, fire magic specifically, flame charm, flame worshipper, uh, dem storm gaming. Uh, all right, so first off, we we look at Dem's character from the direct. He he's a Cel Celtor, the raccoon race. He has long hair, but most importantly, we're looking at his armor. So, on his armor, you see a symbol, like, near his neck, it's a uh, finger with, like, a flame next to it. Like, uh, some fire. Okay. Cool. So, yeah. he, anybody... We, it's been, okay. like, pretty well known that uh, f- fire, like, armor and shit does have yeah. the, uh, arm, like, the symbol. Yeah, the symbol. Okay. Yeah. So, next we're gonna see, um, a pic- uh, another picture, which is, uh, Arch... Uh, over like a cliff in near a town, which is another leap. He has the flame worshipper symbol on a, on his back in the form of a shield. There's also another picture with an Etrian holding a shield with the flame worshipper symbol on it. So, every like I've never seen anybody in any Deep Woken video wearing any sort of flame worshipper thing without being like a fire magic user in any Deep Woken video. Now, my theory is that in order to obtain magic, you have to complete a quest or, like, join a person just to obtain magic in general. Not, like, create magic in special sor- sorts of way, but to, like, unlock a magic. Like, uh, here's an example. If you want to get wind magic, you can, like, find, like, a floating island, which probably isn't true. It's just, like, an example. But my theory is that in order to get fire magic, you need to join the flame worshippers and, like, complete a trial for them. I see, so you're basically telling us that um, to magic won't be like in Rogue, for example, where you just gain a spell and the, you do, I, I got, I, I can fly around the map right now. Of course not. You, it was already explained by Rag that magic in Deep Oaken does not yeah, work yeah, like magic in Rogue. Still, um, so basically you would have to talk to an NPC and uh, from there you would just be able to learn or learn the magic. Yes? Uh, maybe, no, maybe it would like start a quest line to like prove your worth in order to obtain, uh, like said, magic. And this would work differently for every single type of magic. Maybe, what if, like, uh, if you wanted to join a magic, you would have to join a certain religion, which would be called different. So, if you want to get fire, you would join the fire worshippers, and therefore you would be under the god of fire. Yep, that would, uh, that, that's definitely a possibility. I mean, since they're called flame yeah. worshippers. Yeah, so let's say if there was, let's say, um, the worshipper of the wind, you yeah, well, I guess we'll have to see, wait and see what kind of gods and deities exist in the Deep Oak yeah, universe. But, uh, true, but if it was like I'm suggesting where you'd have to join a certain religion, then it could actually add certain safe houses per se, and a certain location which only your magic can get, as well as certain equipment. Well, here's the thing. I have never played Deep Oaken. We have never played Deep Oaken. So, of course, this is just up to speculation. There could be, like, a way to wor- wear the Flame Worshipper armor uh, in, in like, any sort of way. But here's another thing that I noticed. So, in the direct, uh, Raguzer, big man Raguzer Drowned Gods himself, said that Demstorms' armor, the Flame Worshipper armor, is fire-resistant. 
So maybe in order to like get the armor to get like magic flame charm from the flame worships, you have to complete a trial involving getting like exposed to fire, and that's why the armor gives fire resistance because you are now like one with the flame or something, and you you have this armor that makes you resistant to fire. That would certainly make it more interesting than just you know punching something for five hours. True. And would add yeah. this like certain level of skill, which you, like after a certain point you just be good at making those missions. It would be quite interesting if it actually had a variety of missions other than like one, so that every time you do it, it would be something different. For example, one. Same with the have... shield. The flame worshiper shield. If the armor is fire resistant, the shield may prevent like any and all fire damage from attacking you if you block it from by, uh, from in front, like blocking a fire spell. Uh, in like contrast to wooden shield, which would, uh, due to the laws of physics, obviously burn up because fire. Unless it's like a magic shield. Yeah, actually quite I'm pretty sure that's the laws of chemistry, between... actually, but you know. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. That would actually be quite an interesting interaction. This is Roblox, the not science class. Different, different builds. It would add this certain, like, level of skill, per se, you can say. Because if you don't came, you don't travel with the right gear, it just fucks you over, and because of it, um, to just force players to progress faster than just like traveling around with the basic wooden shield forever. Mm -hmm. I will bring like up. You say, yeah, go. On. Yeah, I will bring up one thing though, uh, which is sort of like a contradiction, which is that Demstorms might be wearing the flame resistant armor because some of his spells do set him on fire as well so it might just be that that is that that is true. true but if but it is a flame worshiper armor yeah there's that he could have just gone for the drip but yeah what if actually if we go with the idea of like um religions and having to do quests like a storyline with um to gain your magic. What if you go further and further into the storyline, you will knock more and more items from it? That's definitely that's definitely a possibility if it's like so, a like, quest. As you thing. said, yeah. You at the start of the storyline you don't gain your magic instantly. You'd have to let's say go for let's say ten percent of the storyline to gain the magic, yeah? But if you just did the first quest, it would allow you to have the worshipper armor, I mean the flame worshipper armor, which would uh, give you the um give you the Defense against fire. And you could end up upgrading it or eventually get the shield, but it's definitely yeah. a possibility that the this armor, this shield is 100% exclusive to the flame worshippers. So I think like some of the basic stuff here, yeah, if we go with the idea of your religion, then some of the basic stuff should be unlocked before you gain the magic, yeah? So that it doesn't force people to get the magic if they want to get, let's say, a good defense against fire. You know what I mean? So they could still do the storyline, unlock the uh, the defense against fire, and then still have to be able to use the wind magic without having the interference of fire. You know what else it With... could be? There's also the fact that, like, I think we've seen from certain screenshots that, like, weapons have, like, requirements of stats. So perhaps, That's like, true. to get the flame, That's the flame worshiper armor and stuff, you need, like, a certain amount of flame charm. Or, a, yeah, like, a certain flame charm requirement. That is also definitely a possibility, because... Uh, we had, uh, yeah, that's definitely a possibility. Definitely. Alright. Okay, so, um, I wanted to talk about the, um, trials you mentioned. So, uh, what is, like, the, uh, what could be some of the possible ones you would think of? Okay, well, uh, uh I, I'm pretty sure I said this before, but, uh, it might not all be a, like, trial. Like, a trial by fire for the flame worshippers, because, like, Okay, so, we don't know if the Flame Worshippers, like, uh, if there's a version for that for every single, um, really for every single, like, type of magic, but for all we know, Flame Worshipper, for, Flame Worshipper could have just been a thing that Demstorms just came up with on the spot. We don't know if it's an actual thing, but, let, okay, let's say that all of the types of magic had, uh, like a sort of word, like a god. Uh, Galebreath, Wind God, uh, uh, Frostdraw, Ice God, Thundercall, Thunder God, and Flame Charm is the f Flame God. And also, there are two unknown magic as of the Direct in March. 
Okay, so in the direct, Rev opens his inventory to see that there are... Okay, so there's obviously Gale Breathe, uh, Thunder Call, Frost Draw, and Flame Charm, all right? But there's also two unknown magics that have question marks where they should be. Now, the direct was last year, so and according to Agamatsu, Deepokin is constantly being updated, so there could be more types of magic that we don't know about. And in uh, during his like top ten upcoming games in 2021, uh, wait, he was fighting Nayuki, and Nayuki appeared to have two types of magic: ice and fire. So you can dual magic. Well, yeah, they confirmed that a while back. Yeah, they confirmed that in the Q and A. Yeah, they confirmed that in Q and A that you could uh, have pretty much four types of magic if you really wanted to, but they would be weak uh, compared to if you had. Yeah, because you had you'd have yeah, to but... spread out your points. Yeah, but that's yeah. uh but you can focus one thing. Like we saw Dem only had one magic. You so this This means you could join multiple factions in order to like come uh maybe you have to join one faction to like or you can leave and switch to like completely hone your crap. Maybe factions are just a way to like strengthen your magic. So, uh, con continuing on the idea you said uh the two known magics, maybe it was just two not magics as you suggested, but then they did mention there would be more types of magic than the four typical ones like fire, ice, you know, the, the usual. So you may be very correct on the idea that they have added more magics which we still don't know of yet, but... Um, we have no way of knowing what they are. That. Yeah, but we just have no way of knowing We don't know what we are, again. We haven't played Deep Oaken. This is a speculation. These are speculations. Yeah, we know that much. We know that much. Okay, but uh, c going back to the idea of the trial, if let's say if each thingy had a, if each magic had a trial, for example, let's say a fire one, a fire, right, could actually let's say uh, face you against a creature which mainly uses fire attacks. So, for example, if you wanted to achieve the highest rank in the flame worshippers, you would have to defeat a dragon. You see where I'm coming from? Again, like I said, with the Flame Worshipper shield and the Flame Worshipper armor, well, we don't know for sure if the Flame Worshipper shield uh, negates fire damage or it reduces it, but we do know that Dem's armor in the direct gave fire resistance. So, yeah, we yeah know that. in in a fire-based enemy, definitely you'd be suited to fight them. Yeah, but uh, the trials that I was... Let's continue about that. Uh, the trials could be actually localized or the element you're doing. So, for example, if you went with the wind trial, you'd have to complete a parkour. But, but if you went with the lightning, which is more of a uh, speed-based uh, element, I would think that uh, I need to watch. I would think that you would have to do, let's say, a run. And uh, for example, a trial for ice could be. Something similar to um, fire, where they would oppo like made you fight, uh, fight a enemy which is surrounded about fire, or they could put they could teleport you to a different world per se, and you would have to run from point A to B without being frozen to death. If the temperature is a thing in thing. Interesting. Kind of like the Abyss Walker quest. I mean, I know it has nothing to do with Rogue, but in Rogue Lineage, there's a quest for a class called Abyss Walker. I'm pretty sure if you're watching this, you've played Rogue yeah. before. But uh, you have to carry. You get a quest uh, from a dude to carry a torch from point A to point B without it getting put out. It could. This is uh, without it. Yeah, getting put out. If it gets put out, you have to restart the whole thing again. And for the entire quest, you're put in combat, which means if you leave, you die and you lose a life. Yeah, uh, but uh, it would be more of a, like um, base. It would be more of a thing that uh, you would have to basically fight against time more of a than uh, just because in the abyss walker quest you don't really have any time limit. In the... you do, your torch will go out. Well, you well, can relight like, it though. You, you can yeah, of course you can relight it. But here's another threat: the threat of players. Now, let's say in the, okay, let's say, okay, sure, the ice, the ice quest is carrying something or going from not, point A not to point carrying, B. Just not, not carrying, just not dying to the Okay, trying thing. to get to point A 
from point B. I mean, trying to get freezing. from point B from point A, and uh, without freezing to death. Now, let's say okay, but people could wear like in a cold resistant armor. Now, let's add the threat of like enemies, NPCs, or even like players. Kind of like how the Abyss Walker quest one, uh, there is like the added threat. of howlers in the country which are like enemy even like regular players who could completely mess up your quest that's that's true and if it did work that that would, would i mean like kind of cool. deep woken uh is like uh it, it could be a hard game like rag said it's a hard game yeah but i was thinking more of the idea that it you would have your like uh all like your armor removed and replaced with something like simple like your fresh armor yeah so it's had basically like no cold resistance, nothing like that. You'd just be you, and you'd have to just run. I mean, it wouldn't be a surprise if there were, like, enemies there trying to stop you. That could, like, that could, that could actually be a thing in the, like, later trials, you know? Because I was thinking that with the trials is that you have, like, at the start you have easy trials, like, I don't know, survive 10, like, a minute in this place. But then, uh, in the latest, when you become, like, a high ranking from the cult or religion, you'd it would become progressively harder and harder as you progress. So at, the st so at the start, you could just have to run from point A to B, but it would be like maybe two minute trip. But then later it would be the same trip, but with added, with added parkour and added enemies. Mm -hmm. It would like allow you to have like all your weaponry, like all you have beside, but it would replace your armor to like make you test yourself per se. No, it would be actually a trial more than, oh yeah, I'm, I decked out, nothing can touch me. So, uh, Sept, what's your uh, opinion on the hype that has been building up for Deep Oaken? Oh my god. So, Deep Oaken getting overhyped is 100% a problem. First off, in my opinion, Deep Oaken isn't going to come out for a really long time. And I don't know if that's the end of 2021. I don't know if that's the end of 2022. I don't know if that's the end of 20,000. But here's the thing. There is no such thing as the perfect game. And people are acting like Deep Logan is going to save Roblox. Which is impossible. You can't just save Roblox. Sure, it's in a bad state right now with all like these like Naruto point-and-click adventure game. Uh, number 7,000. One Piece. Uh, One Piece Double Triple Chungus Punching Bandit Simulator Deluxe. Like... Those are the only games we have right now, and everybody's waiting for Deep Woken because it's supposed to be the game that "quote unquote" saves Roblox. Yeah, but he, this is see, a problem. when people say that Deep Woken will save Roblox, I'm pretty sure what they're referring to is the fact that after Deep Woken releases, a lot of game devs that have been holding off on like publishing or like working on their games because they don't they haven't seen what their competition is up to, right? Like. What's the point in releasing a game if Deep if everybody's just going to be playing Deep Woken, right? Quoting, so, what I so what most people, I mean, yeah, pretty much. They said something. Because Dem, Dem has a good point. Dem does have a good point, but here's the thing: everybody in the rogue community right now is at, is they're acting like Deep Woken is going to be like the perfect game. It's going to solve everything. Deep Woken is amazing, good, but they don't realize that like I mean, a lot of rogue players have absolutely good. no skill. And Deep Oak is supposed to be a skill-based game. If you're playing a skill-based game and you don't have any skill, you're going to quit it immediately. You're going to say, Oh, bad game! Well, that's what the Rogue Lineage players are going to do. And that not that a good thing for Deep Oaken? Well, depends what Asquake we're looking at. Because it, if, it could be good for the fact it would make the community less toxic somewhat. But at the same time, it could kill some of the player base. Like player base. Yeah, but I don't really feel like the player base is a huge issue, and I'd much rather have a much smaller player base with, like... Because, like, it doesn't matter anyway in the long run. Like, think about Rogue Lineage, right? There's, like, 4,000... Yeah. It doesn't matter if there's 4,000 people playing or if there's 20,000 people playing, because you're always Rogue just going to be in 25 people servers. Game. Like I mean, Rogue, is a, Rogue is a PvP game. But, okay. Yeah, I know, but it doesn't matter yeah, if you're in a fourth, that, if there's four thousand players or if there's twenty-five thousand players, because you're always just going to be to in a twenty-five player max server, right? So it doesn't right. matter if Deep Oaken has less, because it's still going to have example. at least a hundred. Let me take an example for an overhyped game: Fallout seventy-six, one of the biggest train wrecks in gaming history. <laughs> Everybody was overhyping the hell out of this game, and when it sucked. People on the internet like exploded. Everyone was just so pissed off because it was like, oh my god, a new Fallout game, which is like one of the best series 
uh, like game series ever. And then Fallout 76 came out, which is like one of the biggest like just absolute disappointments. It's like Fallout 76 was a bigger disappointment than my son. 76. I'm. I, I mean, I don't know if Deepwoken per se is going to be like, like Fallout. They, they, I, I don't think Deepwoken will flop. I don't think Deep One will flop, but it, there is no way it's going to live up to the hype. I mean, it could live up to the hype. Like, with how I mean, many we know about it. Yeah, like, we don't know what exists in the game. game. We don't know about Deep Open. This is just speculation. True. Like, people are acting like well, a lot I mean, of, like, I know, Deep I know it's info. a speculation, but the way the testers say, like, for example, Dust, even though he doesn't want to hype up the game and overhype it, he does say it's a really good game. Though, uh, he says very little about it because he just doesn't want people forming opinions based on his opinion. But when he does mention it, it does phrase it as a, being a good game com compared to like all of its yeah. copies. Same or, with you know. Agamatsu and pretty much every Deep Oaken tester. Dust, Agamatsu, damn, all of them. Well, yeah, Except Agamatsu literally exception. said that it's 99 out of 100 and there the game's not even exception. done. Agamatsu is like the fucking like tom holland of deep Oaken. he keeps he he'll like leak some stuff accidentally he, he like can't help himself he's like the tom holland of deep Oaken. uh okay so anyway here's here's an interesting example rev rev is not the only tester that we've seen that isn't a deep Oaken fan he like quit it a while ago because he, he wasn't liking where the combat is going well yeah but uh, they and, changed like, it a lot anyway streams, yeah and one of the like streams that uh rev and uh like rag was talking to me he was like yo bro we totally like uh changed the combat you should go play it sometime he kind of sounded like me recommending an anime to my friends like go oh, come on dude like please please watch it come on come on so yeah rev is the only person who like a public well, rev has... said that they're not a big fan of people well even prior to that stream rev had said that he's not a big fan of the combat of the magic in deep Oaken in general and since that's and clearly the main title, point of progression thing. Like, clearly the main point of progression in Deep Woken is not so much the base combat as much as the magic, right? So, like, sure, you can yeah. upgrade your strength and stuff, but the main part of Deep Woken, when it comes to advancing your PvP, is getting new spells and changing them and improving your spells and getting new spells. Well, that's the point of Thirsty, right. isn't it? They're gonna constantly, like, evolve in it if we yeah, want but something. Yeah, but Revolu has but said that... Yeah, but Reevolu has said that. Listen, listen. So Reevolu has said that he doesn't like the magic system in general. Mm -hmm. So that's probably a big contributor to why he doesn't like Deep Oaken that much. I mean, they did change it. Uh, Agamatsu, I've said this before. I'll say it again. He said uh, Deep Oaken is constantly. Constantly getting updates, like uh, unlike Rogue, which like Arch will like uh, log on. He's like, okay, cool, balance changes. Like I'm not, I'm not hating on Arch or anything. Arch, uh, f follow your dreams, bro. Uh, grow, grow wings and fly, like in a Disney movie. You're assuming uh, that Arch uh, will watch this you video. Want. It's your game. <laughs> I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? But anyway, um, so Deep Oaken is not going to live up to hype. People are like acting like it's like Jesus Simulator 2021. Uh, it, it cannot live up to the hype. I'm not saying it's going to be a bad game. I'm definitely going to play it. It's probably going to be a good game. But there's no way it can live up to the hype. True. You're probably not wrong considering how much, uh, how much people talk about it and shit. So we only can hope at this point that it will be as so as good as some people say, but it won't be as hyped. I mean, it won't be as good as people have hyped it to be, probably. Guys, guys, I just figured out what male birth control is. It's called playing Rogue Lineage. 